This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. Thanks for checking out one of our past live sessions. If you had fun and enjoyed it, we'll hope you tune in for one of our future lives. And remember, if you're one of our paid members, you can watch these and all the rest of them anytime on your platform. Oh, hey there, everyone. Thanks and welcome. Thanks for all the little hearts. We're gonna be making these cute little owl cupcakes and I did a few different varieties on the decorative style just to give you some options on what you might wanna tackle. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is flat icing the cupcake. And after I show you that, we'll go over which tips I've used and how to use them. So I'm gonna put these little buddies to the side for right now. So say bye to them momentarily. And I'm gonna get over my little periwinkle blue frosting. Right, and I just have it in a nice uh, measuring cup kind of ready to go with an offset spatula and it's just the kind of blunt even end it's what I use on top of my cakes right and I'm going to use this to ice a cupcake so I'm going to get a nice big kind of I would say heaping tablespoon plus of frosting on there I'm going to dab that right onto the top and just use the spatula to gently work it back and forth and starting with extra always key right a little extra makes it nice and easy to flatten out the top surface like that right and then i'm going to take my spatula i've kind of cleaned off the excess and just run it at an ever so slight angle against the paper on the outside i usually end up going about halfway around and then I clean it off, right, and go back. And you can see that's already given me a really nice, fairly flat surface. If you want to, you can clean up the edges just a little bit to make it just a little bit more round. And that gives you a nice, smooth, even surface that's ready to pipe on. So if you're ever looking to do something like monograms, some numbers, this is a good way to do them. And if you have people that don't like as much sugar or don't want as much frosting, this gives you a lot less frosting. Your frosting will actually go further than if you do a piped swirl or something like that on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off one more of these just to show you the technique again, but also so I have a few ready and I can do some different styles of piping. Right. So nice big tablespoon, work it out softly nice into the edges of the paper and you can see it's kind of overflowing and then just use that spatula to go around the edges and these are also good for sprinkle dips if you want to roll the edges and sprinkles right and get that ready so that we have a nice surface to make our owls on right so i'm going to put these two to the side for a moment and bring over my tray and my bags, right? I have to do, 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 do a number two tip, right? With some blue and I'm gonna do a few things with that. One, I'm gonna pipe a triangle for the beak and the other thing I can use it for if I want are the little scallops on the owl's belly, right? And that gives me a little look of feathers. So it's just nice, soft curves, right? These work not only for feathers, but also for fish or a mermaid scales, right? And then when you start the next one, right? You wanna meet it at the bottom point of that and go to that, right? So this is also good for shingles on gingerbread houses and a variety of other things. And the more rows you do, you just keep alternating, right? You start at the peak and join together. Right, I have, let's see, a number six. And I'm gonna use this guy, one, to pipe the bellies and flatten them out on some of them, but also just to do some nice teardrop shapes, right? And you can use those to make nice little feathers and it's a light blue so i'll pull it up just so you all can see right so just a nice little teardrop so it's just the same kind of motion as if you were doing a bead border right but we're just going to use it in a few different ways one 
to make feathers. So start with more rows and then layer them on top. And then the other to do the little kind of like eyebrow feathers by layering them on top of each other, almost what I would call backwards so that the tails are showing instead of the buildup at the front, right? We've got some white in a number four tip. We're just doing dots. Oh, if it'll stick to the paper. <laughs> um, in the middle of the eyes just to give it a little shine. And the navy is the same thing, right? So we're just using it for, for dots. And then we have a little to do, 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 do. Ah of my last color. I'm going to move my tray up. So I have a number 12 tip and I'm going to do wings with this. So I'm going to start build up at the top and pull down right while I'm still squeezing just to give it a nice teardrop shape and make my little wings on each side of my owl. So I'm going to set my tray aside now and start doing some decorating. Right. So I'm going to pull these little boys out and we'll do a few different styles. So the first one, I'm gonna do a flat area with the light blue. So that's our number six tip. And I'm going to just start right here on the bottom edge and trace that. And then I'm gonna draw a nice upside down U. And then I'm just going to fill that area in. I'll take a clean offset spatula, right? So you can see right now, you can see the little lines in it. And we're just going to use that spatula just to lightly smooth out the surface. And for this, it'll be easier to work if you put them in the refrigerator for just a few minutes and let the frosting set up, right? Because then the stuff underneath won't be moving around. And that sets us up for success. I can then go in next to it. Oh, pipe my little wings. Sorry, my bag is hiccuping on me. And I'm going to take some white candy melts, right? So they have the little peaks on one side. Just turn them upside down right? and they make perfect little large kind of saucery owl eyes and they come in a bunch of different colors. I'm just using the bright white. You can use any color you want to. Sometimes they're fun and adorable if they have really crazy colored eyes, right? I'm going to go in with my dark navy and put on my eyes. Yep. He's looking adorable, isn't he? Thanks for the heart and put in a little shine with the white. And then we can go in with one of our other dark blue colors, put on my little upside down triangle for a beak and it'll be easier to do if it's sitting down, but put on some little scallops underneath here. Right. And they don't have to be perfect. Right, so if the idea of piping those scallops for the feathers is a little daunting, maybe not your style, the next one is a little simpler to do. And I like to finish them just by giving him those two little kind of feathered peak things that sort of look like ears on top. So super cute, ready to party. I'm going to reload one of my bags and then I'll show you the other decorating style really quickly. Yes, all of these are buttercream. It's just regular American buttercream. That was just a question. No. Will I be buying buttercream? We'll, we'll, we'll answer more questions when it's the end At of the it. end, yeah. yes. And if we missed any questions because it scrolls by pretty, pretty quickly on the screen, feel free to retype them later at the end. Um, I know some weeks we miss some just for that reason alone. I have to look at what I'm doing or I end up off screen. All right, so back here on this guy, I am going to make sure I'm in the middle. I'm going to pipe his little wings, right? So nice big build up, pull while you're still piping. Right? 
And then that leaves a little void in the frosting between the wings where I can go in and pipe some little feathers. So I'm gonna go in the opposite direction, start at the bottom, right? And pull up. And I'm acting like there's kind of like a central point right there. And I'm gonna pull all those teardrops towards that point, right? And that means that we'll get a nice flow to them, right? And so every time I do them in between the ones before, right? Now we're perfect. Take some of our little melts, pop on some eyes, give him his little feathers on top. You can always do his beak in the navy blue. And give it a little sparkle. Super cute, a little bit easier technique wise than the first one, but still absolutely adorable. And these are always great in pastel colors for parties, baby showers, birthdays, whatever the case may be. And then the last thing I'm going to do is a slight variation on this one, right? So again, put on some little wings. They don't have to be perfect. Pipe him a cute little belly, right? And when I get his eyes in place, I'm gonna do the feathers on top and then I'm gonna give him those crazy little uh, feathery eyebrows that sometimes they have because owls always have very expressive, um, fun faces and lots of feathers. So go ahead. Do those two little peaks above the eyes. And then the one thing you can do that's always really cute, because sometimes they have these great little eyebrows, is pull little peaks, right? So kind of like little reverse teardrops right across the top. And that gives them kind of a little, I don't know, they sort of look angry sometimes. You have to be careful with them. Uh, but they have the cute little eyebrows. And that gives you some fun variation to your owls. You can always mix up the colors, do a variety of pastels, but it's a nice little idea, especially for back to school or fall. Um, so this kind of is the end of today's lesson. So if anyone has questions, whether they're about coloring, frostings, techniques, if you wanna see anything repeated, let us know. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.